So, so class A, uh, class nine, studied about the chapter a house is not a home. So, what this chapter is all about? This chapter is all about the emotions that we share with each other. It is the emotions. It is about the emotions that we share with the family members. As in our class, you uh, as in our house, you know that there are number of you can say family members, and with these family members, we share our emotions. If we share our feelings only, then we can say that. that we are attached with the family so here in this chapter as you know that the house of the narrator is burnt it was completely burnt and ultimately he has also joined in the new so see that what kind of problems that an adolescent feels okay so as an adolescent he is feeling a lot of problems he is having he is having difficulty in order to adjust to the new environment he is also having difficulty to make friends with the new uh, students also so ultimately this chapter is highlighting the problems of adolescents also that adolescents they find it really difficult to adjust themselves in the new environment they really have tough time during this age as there there are lot of emotions as now the red tabby cat of the narrator was also lost because the red tabby cat was lost he was also feeling that on his life it has lost its track right <coughs> has all his life has lost its track then ultimately what then ultimately he was thinking that it would never come to the right place but ultimately i told you that don't lose hope during this kind of you can say tough times never lose hope during tough times because ultimately there is always a hope because every cloud has a silver lining so let us see what silver lining this chapter is going to have so so when his house was burned that was just supposed to be a heap of rubble only and ultimately he was so attached to his house that he is going there daily in order to see how it is to be built so let us read from this page page number is 52 when i walked through what used to be my house after school that day i was shocked to see how much damage there was whatever hadn't burned whatever hadn't burned was destroyed by the water and chemicals they had used to put out the fire so ultimately he was going there to see that what damage has been caused to his house okay so ultimately everything that was left again it was again destroyed by the effect of the chemicals as well as water they used to put out the fire the only material things not destroyed were the photo albums documents and some other personal items that my mother had managed to heroically rescue but my cat was gone and my heart really ached for her yes see what he is saying he is saying that whatever was left whatever was left it was ultimately lost because all the material things they have completely been burnt and whatever is left these were only the some photo albums some documents and it was only just because of the result of the hard efforts strong efforts of her mother that she went heroically side that burning house and she had rescued them back okay there was no time to grieve so my mother rushed me out of the house we could have to find a place just a moment still students are entering so my mother rushed me out of the house we would have to find a place to live and i would have to go buy some clothes for school also so her mother mother was you can say his mother was really a figure of you can say courage she knew at that time that it is of course the requirement of adjustment with time at that uh, at that time because she is telling him to go to the market to purchase new clothes as he was having no clothes to wear so as i told you that how consistent her mother was in her thoughts as you know that suppose suppose today the house was burnt and next day she was telling to his son to go to school otherwise what other kind of excuses we people have that i have discussed with you yesterday that we people think no today i am not feeling well or i have this and that problem and ultimately we try to skip the school okay but ultimately his mother she knew the importance of education she knew that this should never be missed this should go oh, you should always be taken care of she was, she was sending his son to school even during that tough time 
So we had to borrow money from our grandparents because there were no credit cards, cash, or even identification to be able to withdraw money from the bank, and everything had gone up in smoke. Yes, this is of course another reality that everything they had, everything was gone. They did not have any cash in their hands. They did not have their credit cards. They did not have their bank passbook. So ultimately, there was no source of money for them. And another problem to them was how to accommodate. How they will accommodate? They will accommodate now. They need some home at least to spend just one night. After that, they will definitely be making some adjustments to go to a new place. Right? Just a moment, please. Yes. So. So ultimately, what they had to borrow, they had to borrow everything that they had to borrow, everything that was not with them. So they, what they had to do, they had to borrow some money from their grandparents because as they did not have any access to cash, they did not have their credit cards. All that being the rubble that used to be our house was being cleared off the lot. So that week their house which was, you can say, just a heap of rubble. This has been cleared and ultimately now a new house is to be erected. Even though we had rented an apartment nearby, I would go over to watch them clear away debris, hoping that my car cat was somewhere to be found. So he knew that this debris is going to be cleared, but ultimately he's again and again going. This we have read yesterday also, but still in order to relate to the present one, this is the reason why I'm reading it again. Okay, so what he was doing that he was clearing away debris and thinking about her as that vulnerable little, sorry, sorry, debris, hoping that my cat was somewhere. To, so he was going again and again there to see whether his cat was there or not. Okay. And she was gone. I kept thinking about her as that vulnerable little kitten. And in the early morning, when I would disturb her and get out of bed, she would tag along after me, climb up my rope and crawl into my pocket to fall asleep. And I was missing her terribly. So this is how the cat is behaving. She means just like a small kitten. She's entering into her rope, picking her rope, pulling her, pulling his rope. And ultimately it was crawling into his pocket. Okay. So then the narrator was saying that he was terribly missing that cat. It always seems that bad news spread quickly. So this is the main thing. See, what, th what change has been brought? It always seemed that bad news spread quickly. And in my case, it was no different. Everyone in high school, including teachers, was aware of my plight. Plight means condition. So he says that, that it is always there that bad news, they really spread quickly because they really spread quickly. And he said that in my case, it was also not so different. In my case also, this news also spread quickly that there is a boy who is who has newly entered or who is a freshman in this uh, senior school whose house was completely burned. And everyone in high school, including the teachers was aware of my plight. So all the teachers in the high school, they were also aware of his condition that what has happened to him. I was embarrassed as if somehow I was respons I were responsible. So what he was thinking, he said that at some, some of the point he, say, he says that he was thinking that was he really responsible for all that? He knew, he knew of course that he was not responsible for all that. But ultimately what is happening that he was just feeling himself responsible for his, all this. What, why he is feeling responsible for all this? Because he is feeling for the type of attention that he was getting. He has never demanded this kind of attention. Okay. Um, so ultimately what a way to start off at a new he said so this is my new way of starting at new new school this was really very wrong on my part and this was of course really very embarrassing on my part and ultimately he said that i was feeling that all this that happened it was just because of me this was not the kind of attention i was looking for he said yes this kind of attention i have never demanded 
I have never thought of this kind of attention. Okay. So the next day at school, people were acting even more strange than usual. I was getting ready for gym class at my locker, and people were people were milling around me. Milling means moving, making circles. Okay, moving around me. I, either one is coming, then second is coming in this manner. So what he is saying? Just a moment, please. Students are still entering late in the class. So the next day he said, when I have gone to the school. Something strange happened with me. It was it was just looking like that something strange is happening. He said I was getting ready for my gym class, and he said that I was ready for my gym class. And um, at my locker, you know, in the schools in foreign countries, there are lockers where you are putting your you can say belongings, and you are changing your clothes, and you are going to attend the class. For example, if there is a gym class, if there is a sports period, whatever it is, okay. So he said I was standing near my locker. people were milling around me people were coming mo moving around me as if they are as if they are making you can say uh, making some signal and asking me to hurry up and they are again and again asking me hurry up hurry up come on come on i thought it's sir, i thought it's strange but in the light of the past few weeks nothing would surprise me he said that i thought that this was really strange for me some strange behavior this is but of course not and then ultimately what happened that he thought that what whatever has happened with me in the past time it is not so strange for me it almost seemed that they were trying to show me into the gym show me means pushed me so now he said it will their behavior was just showing me that they were just pushing me into the gym that i saw sorry into the gym then i saw why so he said when i went into the gym when i have gone into the gym then i come to know that what is the reality why they were putting me and pushing me there so what is the surprise for him see a big surprise there was a big table set up with all kinds of stuff on it just for me so he said there was a big table that was arranged there having all the you know, all the things arranged in a very proper manner so what were those things they had taken up a collection and bought me some school supplies notebooks all kinds of different clothes jeans tops sweat suit and it was like christmas i was overcome by emotion so he said see this is the first you can say reaction by the new students that they have arranged on the table all the things notebooks books bags and all that they have been arranged in the proper manner he was saying that it was just like a christmas for me like it was just like a christmas for me that we have um, that we have stood there and ultimately what is there they are bringing some men uh, so you can they are bringing me many you can say christmas gifts i was overcome by emotion yes what he said he said that at that time i was completely overwhelmed with this kind of emotion that this uh, generous gesture by them it has really outpoured his heart and ultimately he was filled with emotion and with some tears in his eyes people who had never spoken to me before were coming up to me to introduce themselves and see see what he is saying he said that people who are i have not talked to with whom i have never talked to and they have come to me to introduce themselves they are coming shaking hands with him hello my name is this uh, and i am this from this class in this manner they have come there i got all kinds of invitations to their houses so everyone was inviting him to come to his house he was getting all kind of invitations their genuine outpouring of concern genuine outpouring genuine means without any artificiality outpouring means uncontrolled one overwhelming one concern means this type of concern they had that they have shown so this genuine outpouring of concern really touched me it really touched his heart he really come uh, he really come very conscious of it and he has come to know about you can say about that that really in life there are genuine people so in that instant i finally breathed a sigh of relief so at that time he said i really heaved i felt a sigh of relief 
that finally something better has happened in my life and thought for the first time that things were going to be okay i made friends that day. so on that day he said for the first time i felt that really the things are going to be okay for me and for the first time i made friends with the new means now see something happens that makes you aware of the goodness around you okay so it is just because so see there are two sneha bhatias i don't know who is the real one so so ultimately what happens that he said that it is for the first time he was able to see goodness around him he was able to know that yes really people good people exist a month later i was at my house watching them rebuild it so month has been passed he was just looking that his house was being rebuilt again but this time it was different i wasn't alone but he said earlier whenever i was going to that place i was always feeling that i was all alone but this time he says i was not all alone i was with my friend i was with two of my new friends from school so now when he now when he is going to see his house he was with his two new friends okay from the new school it means that see he thought that he would never be and never be friendly with any of the students from the new school but now he has got new friends also now i was sitting there watching my house being rebuilt when i realized my life was doing the my life was doing the same thing so now he said i was sitting there i was just looking that my house was being rebuilt but at that moment he said that i also realized i also realized that similarly as my house is going to be built similarly my life is also going to be rebuilt and this is exactly what is happening to him while we sat there on the curb curb means something on the edge okay planning my new bedroom i heard someone walk up to me from behind and say does this belong to you so he said while i was just sitting with my friend and planning my bedroom and at that moment what happened what happens that i heard he felt that someone was coming towards him from behind and when uh, that person comes near him uh, he asked uh, does this belong to you so what can this be can you make a guess what can this be what can this be yes yes what can this be maybe his cat yes of course that was his cat okay so does this belong to you when i turned around to see who it was i couldn't believe my eyes now he said when i turn around he said i couldn't believe my eyes that what it was who was there a woman was standing there holding my cat a woman came she was holding holding the cat i leapt up means in emotion with great excitement he jumped up and grabbed her out of her women's arms and immediately he has taken hold of that cat because he was longing for that for its return he was thinking that the cat would definitely come so i held her i held her just a moment please let me turn my page also i held her close to me and cried in and cried into that beautiful orange fur he said i held quite cat close to my heart and started crying into that orange means that because it was red tabby cat the color is bit you can say reddish and orangish one okay and he said i was in tears and i was crying into tears in that orange fur she purred happily she purred means she was also producing that purring sound my friends were hugging me hugging the cat and jumping around his friends who were also with him they were hugging him hugging and jumping around him apparently my cat had been so freaked by the fire that she ran over a mile away means means naturally he says he said that i was not able to notice at that time what he was not able to notice at that time that this was the cat okay that this was the cat uh, who has gone who was afraid of fire and it has run miles away 
her caller had a phone number on it but our phones had been destroyed and disconnected so he said on the uh, caller of the cat there was a phone number there was you can say our phone number but because all the uh, phones were disconnected and destroyed so what happened so he has come to return it to me this wonderful woman took her in and worked hard to find out whose cat it was really that woman she really worked hard worked hard so what happened she was she was just searching for the owner she was searching the number and finally she had come up here somehow she knew this cat was loved and solely missed somehow means she somehow means by by some means she has come to know that this cat this cat was really missed and was you can say was loved by someone so she has to return that cat as i sat there with my friends my cat curled up in my lap all the overwhelming means uncontrolled feelings of loss and tragedy seemed to diminish so what he said while i was sitting with my friends my cat it has curled up she has curled up in his lap and he he said that all those overwhelming feelings of loss and tragedy seemed to diminish all those feelings which he was feeling for the past one month that he has lost everything that a great tragedy has happened to him these all feelings they are they seem to be seem to diminish they are going to now disappear because life is taking a new turn with the loss now new things are being produced and he is also getting the lost things i felt gratitude for my life and my new friends the kindness of a stranger so he said i was really feeling uh, feeling great and i was feeling gratitude thankfulness towards my new friends who have who have helped me in this difficult time the kindness of the stranger who has brought my cat back and the loud purr of my beloved cat and loud sound that purring sound of my cat because i was he says that and uh, that i was so attached to my dear cat so this is how he said my life was back on the track and my cat was back and so was i so what is the meaning of this last line when my cat came back i thought that i am reviving back into my life again i thought that my life has come to an end but actually it has not come to an end now what he is saying he is saying that now i am reviving back i am just looking back that uh, my life is back i have tough time he said my house was completely uh, destroyed but ultimately he has come to know that finally that everything has come back and so was i means he was feeling that he is also getting back on track right so see you can very well imagine that from where this you can say story it has started see it has started from the dining room and ultimately to what great ending it has come up to okay really a great ending in which a person has completely you can say explained about his life that from where he has started and ultimately where he has come okay so this is what this chapter is all about so ultimately see that the narrator he has interwoven various themes he has interwoven means sense of loss and tragedy how it affects how it affects a person's emotions means that a person is really and deeply affected by the kind of you can say by the kind of feelings that he always has in his life right and ultimately um, how one can overcome great losses and tragedy and he has also brought out the theme of adolescent age that adolescents they are so attached to their things that sometimes they feel that it is really very difficult to bear the loss of the lost things but ultimately one has to make adjustments in life because whatever is lost can be retrieved back and this is what has exactly happened with the narrator that he has he has lost everything everything was lost and finally he has come to be at that loss yes ramni yes ma'am can you please tell the meaning of rubble again rubble okay rubble means waste heap of waste things rubble for example when the house was burnt that heap of ash and the burnt wood is rubble <coughs> okay it means waste things okay 
So next is next question is what does the author now let us discuss the question answers of this chapter. First question is what does the author notice one Sunday afternoon and what is his mother's reaction and what does she do so so many you can say. Uh, questions are there asked in one question, but answer me one by one. First of all, Ashpreet can answer me. What does the author yes. know on Sunday afternoon? Yes, one Sunday afternoon, the author smelled something strange and noticed smoke pouring in through the scenes of cleaning of his house. Hmm. So one Sunday afternoon, while, while he was sitting in the dining room, Along with his mother, and after attending his church, after attending his church, he's doing his homework. He has suddenly noticed some smoke, some smoke oozing out of the seams of the ceiling. Okay, and when he looked out, and in, in a very short while, the entire room was filled with smoke. So, what is his mother's reaction? What is his mother's reaction? Yes, from me. Yes, ma'am. His mother ran back into the house. She had brought out a small metal box full of important documents. She wanted to bring out important things from the house one by one. She was in a grey state. Yes, of course. So, when they have come out, they ran, they were groping in dark to find a way out. Finally, when they have come out of the house, they found that the entire house was in flames. It was completely engulfed in flames and it was burning down. So, but at that time, what has happened? His mother, she has, she who was much, you can say, attached with the, uh, with the album, with the photos of his father, of his lost father, as well as some letters. She heroically ran into the burning house and she has come up with an iron box, including all the important documents of the house. And again, when she has gone inside, she was rescuing the last letters that survived out of this, you can say, catastrophe, after this, you can say, destruction. And she was trying to rescue those things, right? It's clear now. Next question is, why does he break down in tears after the fire? Why does the narrator break down in tears after the fire? Yes, Dia. You can give the answer. The narrator was overwhelmed by the actuality of the moment. He had never thought that uh, his house would be lost to fire. Uh, he had lost everything from um, from their identification to their preci pre uh, precious memories. And now the fact that his mother was going to die or leave him uh, had made him broke uh, made him broke down in tears. Yes. So what is the reason that he broke down in tears? Because he was overwhelmed by the enormity of destruction that has been caused because of this fire. He thought that his entire life it has been it is going to it, it has been destroyed because at one moment he is physical he is emotionally torn as he has joined a new school. He is not relating to any of the teachers and any of the friends also. He is not finding any schoolmate there but ultimately apart from it the only thing with what he was attached was his house where he was feeling comfortable it was also completely burnt and at the top of it what has happened another great tragedy happened to him the only friend he has was his red tabby cat that was also not found so ultimately he thought that his life is you can say it, his life is again going out of his control and ultimately he has lost all the contacts and, the, and emotionally he was uh, he had a setback emotionally also and it is because of this reason to feel himself uh, you can say um, to feel himself completely you can say uh, uh, to feel himself you can say to feel a setback in his emotions so what happened that he was in tears as the situation was really getting out of his control right so i hope that these two answers are clear Okay, so that's all for today. And in the next class, what we are going to do, we are going to, you can say, discuss the rest of the questions as well as the extra questions.